About the power outage situation, thousands of people still dealing with it. This is a live look at PG&E's power outage map, giving us real-time information. In all, the picture is actually getting better. We started off the morning with more than 167,000 customers without power. That number is actually dropped now down to about 159,000. So they are making progress. In the North Bay, we have a couple thousand customers without power. But boy, you can see at a glance that it really is the East Bay and the Peninsula and the South Bay, the sea and the bulk of the outages right now. In the East Bay, we're still dealing with about 31,000 or so customers without power, really clustered primarily around Concord, Walnut Creek, Pleasant Hill, Martinez, those areas. On the peninsula, it really is along the bay shoreline. You can see here just south of SFO, we got a cluster of orange that indicates 500 to 5,000 customers without power. And that is the story as you go all the way down 101 and 280, following along as you head down into the South Bay. The South Bay is where we've been seeing the most outages. Right now, they have about 82,000 customers without power. And here you can see a little bit of red. We'll zoom in here. This is just east of downtown Cupertino, 5,000 or so customers without power there. That's where we're seeing the most concentrated outage, at least in the South Bay. We did have some red earlier this morning in the area of Sunnyvale. They had a block, uh, well, actually a handful of blocks that were also in red, indicating 5,000 or more customers without power. Luckily, that power was restored earlier this morning, which has been great news. And that's been what PG&E has been doing while the weather's nice. They've been moving around to all these different locations where they're having the worst problems and trying to get them restored. And in some cases, they've been successful, as you can see here with that part, at least of Sunnyvale, showing uh, some restoration, which has been great. Today's going to be the day that they can get a lot of that work done with the weather calm as it is, the winds especially. That'll allow a lot of the pg e line crews to get up there and start working on where we're seeing these transformers that have been blowing. Uh, or trees that have been coming down, taking down power lines. Uh, we're going to be following, obviously, the progress with PG&E throughout the morning, so stay tuned for that. As these numbers come in each hour, we'll keep updating you. So hopefully your neighborhood, if it's out of power right now and you're watching us on your app with uh, Cron on on your cell phone, hopefully we'll have some better news for you come our next update. So stay tuned.